Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We're checking out live Doppler 2 HD radar. We do have some heavier rain that has been quickly lifting into the southwest Miami Valley. Now we're seeing some decent coverage working into Montgomery County. Initially, it's going to be some light rain. That's what we're seeing in Dayton now, but it's going to increase in intensity as we've already seen down towards Germantown, Centerville. That heavier rain continuing to lift north through Kettering, Oakwood, and into downtown. Also, out to the west, some heavy rain on 35, all the way out to Preble County, the Eaton area, extending down to Gratis and all the way up into northern Preble County as well, north of I-70. So this is going to continue to lift north as we head through the next few hours. It's going to be a rainy period with this coming through, heavier rain causing some puddles, some ponding out there. And then after this round comes through, it does look like a bit of a lull in coverage before we see new development later this afternoon. So if you're planning a walk, uh, this morning is not going to be a good time to go, unfortunately, because of that rain. That will be pretty uh, decent between 8 and 10 a.m. Around lunchtime, we're going to see just a few spotty showers, maybe not so much at 2 o'clock, but then at 4 o'clock, some additional thunderstorms may pop. Those will be fairly isolated in coverage, so there will be a lot of dry time this afternoon. And temperatures will warm back into the 80s, not quite as high as yesterday, but right around 82 degrees. It's going to feel humid all day, too. So our upper level flow, we have a big area of high pressure off to our east. This low that's moving very slowly is going to track just off to our northwest as we head through the next several days. So it's a slow moving system and only up to uh, northern uh, Ohio into southern Michigan by the time we get to Thursday. That is going to keep us in that unsettled pattern. So every day this week, we're pretty much going to have the chance for showers and thunderstorms. Uh, most of this time, the coverage will be greatest in the afternoon hours, but today we've actually got a weak disturbance coming through this morning, helping to get things started a little sooner. And we do have temperatures that are going to stay warmer than normal, but very close to normal over the next several days. You can see those highs consistently running in the low to mid 80s right on through this weekend, even into next week. So not much change temperature wise, and it's nice to see some warmer readings. Future track shows the morning rain moving through the area. Around lunchtime, we'll see a decrease in coverage, but still a few spotty showers. And then even less coverage by the time we get to 5 o'clock. An isolated shower, a rumble of thunder will be possible. Still the chance for some heavy downpours. Overnight looks pretty quiet. Heading into tomorrow morning, we start Tuesday dry, but it's after lunchtime that we'll start to see the chance for those scattered showers and storms. And again, the chance is there for some heavy rain. Here's your forecast today. It's going to be warm and humid with scattered showers and storms and a high of 82 degrees. We'll drop back to 68 tonight, an isolated shower early on. And then tomorrow, warm and humid again with a few showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon. Wednesday, 81 with still a good chance of showers and storms. That'll be the case Thursday, Friday with highs in the low 80s. And then over the weekend, Saturday still looks unsettled, but it does look like we'll finally dry out and start to turn less humid on Sunday.